to the voter ID. I mean, I think everybody was aware in Wisconsin, the lines were uh, hours and hours long. Many people did not vote because of how long it was uh, they were waiting because of this new voter ID requirement, because the state has done nothing to inform their voters on the details of it. You had uh, voting officials who didn't know what constituted uh, a valid document uh, to vote with. Uh, student IDs, for some reason, for some reason, even though this is about getting stopping voter fraud or undocumented immigrants, as our right-wing caller Doug would say, student IDs were not considered valid. Um, people who have to pay to get something fixed on their birth certificate, 200 bucks, who couldn't afford to, they were shut out of voting. Nobody's quite sure how many people are going to be shut out, but it could be up to 300,000. Why would you do this, right? Why would you do this if you really cared about democracy? I guess the answer has to be something like, we're afraid of wide, widespread uh, um, of uh, fraud. And the one thing that we're going to get out of this, it's not about helping one party or another. It's just about making sure that our election is fair. Right? That's the answer. We just want to be able to have faith in our election, even if people get turned away at the voting booths. Well, I, I think that's uncontroversial. But let's just check in with Glenn Grothman. He is a Republican a congressman from Wisconsin. Um, what does he think this is going to bring about? Take me forward to November. You know that a lot of Republicans since 1984 in the presidential races have not been able to win in Wisconsin. Why would it be any different for Ted Cruz or a Donald Trump? Well, I think Hillary Clinton is about the weakest candidate the Democrats have ever put up. And now we have photo ID. And I think photo ID is going to make a little bit of a difference as well. But if Ted Cruz is the guy, what will his message be to try to win in Wisconsin if he's up against Hillary Clinton? Or, or can you imagine a scenario that he's up against Bernie Sanders? I think either way, it's the same message you use to win the primaries. Uh, you know, welfare, government spending, and immigration. All right. Congressman Grothman, we really appreciate We really appreciate it. And uh, sorry for not following up on that, time, that moment when you said photo ID is really going to help us. So either the representative has evidence or even a theory that there were tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of Democratic votes that were fraudulent in the past elections. Right? I mean, that's, a, that's quite a bombshell to sit on. I've never released it, but I do have this theory that there were hundreds of thousands of fraudulent votes. That's why the Democrats keep winning in Wisconsin. Or, or he just never believed that and thinks that there's going to be enough people disenfranchised who are Democrats that the Republicans are going to have a chance. I mean, is there any other explanation? Let me answer that for you. No. No. He knows and if kudos he's... to that reporter for zeroing in on that. <laughs> oh, okay. You just admitted that your main domestic policy initiative is about disenfranchising voters for the opposing party. Great. Sweet. Any other thoughts, Congressman? But, uh, dude. <laughs> By mean, the way, <sighs> how are the new digs in Congress? Hi, I'm Sam Cedar, and this is an Ann Coulter doll. You should not be immigrating here. Yeah. Stay in your country and hate us. For smart progressive talk and a little bit of this and even a little bit of that. Mission accomplished. Subscribe to our podcast, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and like us on Facebook to get some of our best video clips.